enough. Um, oh yeah, thank you. Let me just drop the notes in the chat again for the new new joiners. Um, so on the agenda for today, there is still some space. So there's a, a replace with your agenda item section. So feel free to add other things to the agenda. Oh, I guess I could probably here. Let me just share my screen so that we're all we're all looking at the same thing. Okay, there we go. Sorry, I just have to move things around now so that I can see. So I can see all the faces and the screen at the same time. Okay, cool. Um, book chapter updates. I put this on the agenda for Matt and then he said he doesn't actually have any. So uh, so that that's, that's a quick agenda item. Um, that's been in progress for a long time. So that's been kind of a standing agenda item that we talk about when something has changed, uh, which hasn't happened. Um, we've, we've had a couple of things that were just, just released today. Um, one is the OSS viability podcast. So this is something we've been talking about in this uh, working group meeting for a really long time, pretty frequently, is um, open source software viability and selecting projects. So this is something that uh, Gary had been driving um, along with a few others. So um, Gary, uh, Sophia, and I, got on a podcast and we spent 40 some minutes talking about this topic. So that's, um, I thought it was really interesting because it was me, you know, talking, but, um, but I thought it was, I thought it was a lot of fun. So if you're interested in that topic, I would encourage you to have a, have a listen to the podcast. And then I also wrote another blog post, um, which is kind of loosely around, um, how OSPOs can show value and it has a couple of different components. Part of it talks about the podcast, the vi viability and project selection. Um, it also talks about the uh, ospoology event that Sean Goggins and I were just at in Frankfurt a couple, uh, I guess, last week, um, which was really, really interesting. And he and I gave some presentations that were sort of relevant to this, this topic as well. And then we... Um, uh, the other thing that's in that is some, I, I wrote a blog post for the OSI's new opensource.net uh, blog, which it talks about the starter project health metrics model. Um, so I was really excited to see the OSI um, spinning up opensource.net to fill the gap that opensource.com um, left when Red Hat, uh, they haven't shut it down. They are repurposing it, um, but it's, it's, uh, that's sad and neglected. Um, any, anything, anything, I don't know, any questions, anything anybody else wants to talk about in the just I release? Just had a quick yeah. Um, so the Elizabeth, can we, so right now, um, so we produce metric models for people that are new. And so basically a metric model is a collection of metrics. So any single metric alone might not be that valuable, but bring them together in a model and it might tell a, a better, more comprehensive picture or um, story. And so we typically write these up in Google Docs. They're now sitting in Markdown. Elizabeth, I think we need to get these out to the website at the moment. Do, yes, do, do I? Okay, I, I didn't know, I don't, for, had forgotten if I needed to open an issue, because if we helpful, could get these but, out. Yeah, it's helpful, but I think it, there is an issue already maybe. I'm not sure. Okay. Um, Elizabeth, um, when those when those go live, can you ping me? Because I want to add those links to some of the presentations I'm giving for Member Summit. And I'm actually going to see if I can edit the podcast and add the links to the show notes. Yes, 100%. I'll do it today. Okay, no, no rush, but just when, I, when you do, just drop me a quick note so I know. And okay. before you do it to Elizabeth, one of the PRs, it placed the one of the folders in the wrong place. Ooh. So I just, I need to fix that. You know what okay. I mean? Yeah. Like it's just, it's not in the metric model folder. It got placed somewhere else. Okay, so I, I can to... I can probably make that change. I can probably fix it. You'll see it. It's just sitting at the top level when it's supposed okay. to be in the metric model <laughs> folder. So got you. Yep. And then just a, a comment to like, there's also going to be a panel at the member summit with uh, Don, Ashley Wolf and Nithya Ruff. So I had put that. Oh, did you have that down there? 
Not specifically, no, so go ahead. I just put it up by the viability stuff just because we were talking about it. But there is going to be a panel at the member summit. I think it's on Tuesday mm -hmm. afternoon, perhaps. Um, and I'm really excited because I get to moderate it with, with uh, three really amazing people. So I won't have to ask many questions at all. I'll ask just like one question and <laughs> y'all can just talk. And I, I suspect it's going to be quite quite well attended uh, just because the three of you are, are in the panel. So pretty excited about that. Yeah, that's, that should be a lot of fun. Who else is going to the member summit from this group? Oh, seeing heads shaking. How about how about you, Alyssa? I know I sent you a direct message. No. Brian, you raised your hand. I'm not going, but I wanted to I wanted to see if anybody who was going might be interested in helping out with the open source AI workshop that will be there next week. Um Ruth, Ruth Seeley and I helped out at All Things Open on Tuesday. Um, we did such a great job. Um, they were willing to fly us out next week um, because we said we, neither one of us had travel budget from our respective employers. Um, so, um, but we, I was, we, neither one of us was willing to fly out for just a day to basically help moderate a two hour workshop. So anybody's going and would like to, you know, help slash participate in this workshop. Um, please reach out to me today and I will put you in touch with the moderator. Um, it's nothing strenuous. It's basically organizing groups, passing out markers and putting up big paper on the wall. Um, really complicated stuff. So. <laughs> when, when is it? I don't, um, I do know it was, it was Wednesday morning because they were going to fly us out Tuesday night. Like they wanted Jim Zimlin to pay for this. And I realize I'm <laughs> I'm not the most ethical person in the world, but I'm like, you are not paying my way to pass out markers. Um, that seemed a little over the top, even for me. I'll take a look. Um, maybe. Well, Nithya, Nithya Ruff has already volunteered to help out. So there is some people there. It's not... Okay. hyper urgent but yeah if you're if you're willing i would definitely connect you with mayors um the okay. moderator and see what happens i just i can't answer a single question about open source and ai just so you know oh neither, hello no <laughs> neither can I. it is interesting though because the way uh stefano uh, from osi has set it up he's got it paralleling the four principles of open source software. And then he has a fifth principle called verify, uh, which is like around ver verification of the results that come out. Interestingly enough, that fifth one is the most controversial. And most of the groups in the workshop this week were like, no, that's not a thing that they like outright rejected it. So it's an interesting conversation. I'd probably learn a lot. Honestly, I just did. being there. Yeah, just being present. Don, when is that talk that I am filling in for Sean with? <laughs> it's not until Wednesday afternoon. I was I was just looking at that. It is uh 3.10 in the afternoon. Oh, okay. So this could work timing wise yeah. potentially. And the uh the workshop is uh at 10 o'clock. Okay. So. Well, Brian, if you have a hand, I can I can, I can All right. If you don't mind, I'll connect you with mayors and 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 or, or mayor rather, and um, we'll go from there. And sure. if she doesn't need you, it's fine. But okay. I appreciate the help. Yep, you bet. Okay, um, Emma, are you going to be at the member summit? Sorry, you just joined, and now I'm going to put you on the spot. But I'll keep talking oh, while you pull yourself off no, mute. No, I'm no, I'm not. <laughs> A lot of people aren't going. This has been, yeah. Yeah, I know Ashley from GitHub's going to be there. Yeah. She's giving a talk, I think, around Ospos. Yeah, she's giving two because we also roped her into an, a panel in addition to her other talk. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm I'm sad not to be there, but um, yeah. Okay. 
Um, so there is a to do group happy hour on Monday and lots of great OSPO kind of chaos talks and both the OSPO track and then the growing and sustaining track. So it should be, it should be interesting. Uh, anything else on member summit? Um, okay. So, uh, upcoming, I wanted to, there are a whole bunch of CFPs that are open that are due kind of end of this month, uh, early November that I wanted to just, just highlight. Um, so chaos con, uh, it doesn't have a CFP open because it's, it's mostly going to be kind of, uh, breakout discussions with a few talks to kind of kick things off. Um, but it is going to be right before FOSDEM in Brussels on Thursday, because there's also the, the OFE policy event is on Friday. So we're trying not to conflict with that this year, which we did last year. Um, so that's the plan. We are looking for sponsors. So if anybody wants to sponsor, have a look at the prospectus, reach out to Matt. We're super flexible, but we like to have money for things like the, um, you know, the venue and food and, and stuff. So we don't, we don't need a ton of money for it, but it's nice to have some support. If anyone's companies can, can help pitch in, that would be great. Um, State of OpenCon is also right after FOSDEM. So the idea is you go to ChaosCon on Thursday, you go to the OFE event, you go to FOSDEM and you take the Eurostar on Monday to the UK. And then you go to State of OpenCon for Tuesday and Wednesday. So we can all coordinate. We can have like a big chaos chaos train. Um, we can coordinate cars and things. Um, but that CFP, Amanda tells me it will be open no later than tomorrow. The deadline's currently October 31st. I don't know if she's going to extend it because um, that's not a lot of time. But State of OpenCon is a really interesting event. Um, and I'm not just saying that because I'm on the board of Open UK, but um, it's really interesting because it, it combines the open source, open hardware, and open data. So it's um, it's a, and it's a really interesting mix of like government policy people, um, you know, companies, and and then like community and students and stuff. So it's it's a really interesting interesting event. So I would encourage you to submit to that CFP. I'll also let people know when the FOSDEM Dev Room CFP is open because we'd like to get some chaos talks into because there are three Dev Rooms. We actually talked about um, submitting a Dev Room proposal and then we realized that. In the past, for the past couple of years, there's been a community dev room and an open research and data dev room, and then a like a big data, data data science dev room. And so we couldn't think of anything that wouldn't overlap with the three that they've had for the past couple of years. So assuming that those get accepted, and then I'll look at the other dev rooms that get accepted and encourage people to submit talks because it's really easy to miss those dev room CFPs because they kind of go out all over the place. So I'll, I'll try to help with that as best I can. Um, FOSS Backstage in Berlin is the CFP deadlines November 15th. So this is an event that's in, it's in March. Um, I think it's in March. I could be wrong about that. Um, but it's it's a really nice event. It's um, a lot of OSPOs. It's a kind of a interesting event because it's sort of like the compliance bit, the community bit. And so it's really relevant from an OSPO perspective, but it's also a very small event. So you get lots of interaction with people. So this is an event that I, I really enjoyed attending last year. And then um, Scale in Pasadena, their uh, CFP deadline is November 1st. So that's another great conference. It's um, kind of all ages, sort of family friendly. It's a uh, that one's also, it's also a lot of fun. It has a really nice community feel to it. Are there any others that I'm missing that are, that deadlines are coming up that people want to highlight? Okay. Um, visual updates for the framework. That's me. You can just click on that. So Nicole had okay. done some work, so um, yeah. So you remember that other framework that we had? You can, if you go back to the minutes and that next link, the one that I did a bad job, like, yeah, that one, just click that. <laughs> yeah, I, was try, I was trying to do it in won't, real it won't time. Click. <laughs> <laughs> it, it will click below, like go down, like just click. That's all right. Got it. Got it. There we go. So this one. Yeah. Okay. And I was like, this one looks like like I made it and these <laughs> if you go to the other one so I asked Nicole if she could um, use her her skills and kind of helping us think through how we might present this 
And these are a couple different. So each slide is a slightly different design of what she had come up with. So I'm just kind of curious what people think. Just as, as we work towards metrics in these particular areas, I thought these visuals looked a lot better than mine. That's for sure. Sorry, can you remind, are they the same four categories? What's that? Just, are they the four same categories as your original? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. So if you click on that original one. They're just, you're just, um, uh, yeah, okay, she's, displaying them. She's uh -huh. reduced it, just reduce some of the text so it would fit. But yes, it's the same four with the goals. So adoption, education, leadership. So two and um, three. So so what are you looking for on this one? Like thoughts on which which is a better is way one, to display it? Yeah. Is there okay. are there are there certain ones that people particularly like? Because I can start building around kind of that. Can I ask a question so that, that's not about design? Because I'm not good at design, but when you say organizational strategy, does, is that like the same as product strategy or that's assuming product strategy is part of organ? Like, I'm just trying to understand what organizational strategy means. Um, so where are you looking, Emma? Um, uh, recognition of OSS practice. Oh, uh, oh wait, no, there's another, there's another slide. Oh yeah, organizational strategy alignment and benchmarking. I just wanted to understand what that, if the yep. product is a part of that, yeah. So if you go, honestly, if you go back to the other one, yeah, that'll help explain it a little bit more. Um, so, so see the functions. So the way that this is, see those functions across the top where it says working with leadership to align open source work with organizational strategy. So this was, this was a conversation that came out of this group as to how um, open source work can be best aligned with strategy that for example is occurring at microsoft in to be specific like with you you know what i mean so there are strategic objectives that the organization is trying to to achieve and how does yeah. open source tie into those objectives yeah. is that does that help i hope that helps yeah i mean the way that my brain has processed that is that it's like the the the, the step way back or the the high level organizational strategy. I find myself also zooming in with like product strategy, which is a, you know, part of like, if you're at this lens that that's part of it. But I sometimes, um, I find there's like subcategories, but I'm, I tend to go into the detail uh, more easily than the zooming out. So that's why I was just asking that question, but it's, it's helpful. Thank you. No, I appreciate that. That's a good comment too. I hadn't, I don't think that had come up of the difference between the two. I don't even know if that's a real thing. I was just trying to understand like the audience, I guess. Like we're talking about like organizational leadership and the strategies that they're building. Um, yep, that's good. As far as design goes, I like the block ones best. Like like these? So drop in the chat your preferred slide numbers because that, that seems to be easier. So Christine likes two and three. Remy likes one, two, and five. So two is a winner so far. I'm curious what other people think. Emma, two and five, two and four. I'm also just like struggling with the idea of this being directional or non-directional. Like I think these are just four things you could be working on. Yep. Um, and so the visuals that imply more of a, like a, a process or directionality and what you should be doing first, I think is be maybe misleading because not everyone will take that path. So I guess that's kind of how I'm reacting to the design and the layout of how these four concepts are presented. So based on the feedback so far in chat, everyone likes two and something okay. else that's completely random and there's no consensus around that. Oh, yep, two seems to have the, <laughs> the votes. Okay, yeah. I, I appreciate that. Thank you, everybody. And I'll let Nicole know. So, and thank you, Nicole, for coming up with all of these. <laughs> yes, our answers were chaotic. Thank you, Sophia. Okay, um, cool. So we've got, I'm just gonna, whoops.
Did I do that? Okay. Wow. There's just some weird stuff going on. I'm gonna leave that alone. I'll I just fix, leave it. I'll fix it. I, it was I was running out of time and I knew I was up and I just had to drop it in there and move on. So I'll fix it right now. Um <laughs> Yeah, I, I failed to fix it, so go. Um, anybody else have anything they want to talk about today? Any other ads to the agenda item? Okay. Um, so uh, agenda items for next week, or not next week, in two weeks. So let's just talk about like, oh, sorry, Matt. Did you have? Uh, Remy has hand up i'm like oh remy you have up. your hand up yes go i was i was slow on the uptake sorry um i just wanted to introduce natalia and isaac uh they recently oh. joined our team here in the open source team in cms and they are our new digital core fellows so they're going to be with us for two years and uh, we're encouraging them to hang out in the chaos places and work with Augur and Chaos and everybody else in the OSPO metrics world. So uh, if you two want to introduce yourself or say anything, uh, go ahead. Yeah. So welcome and congratulations. We'll start with Natalia. How's that? Hi, everyone. I'm Natalia. Uh, I am a US Digital Core Fellow um, working up. Oh software engineering fellow um, working with Remy with building out the CMS OSPO. Um, this, uh, I recently graduated, so this is my first job and open source is completely new to me. So it's been very, very eye-opening to learn about this space. Hi, my name is uh, Isaac Malarski. Um, I'm also a US Digital Core fellow working under Remy to develop the OSPO here at uh, CMS uh, DSAC. Um, and I'm, I'm also a, a software fellow uh, I have a little bit of a background in open source because I I, um, I used to be a, a maintainer on, on the Augur project um, and working on metrics with that. So yeah, it's, it's good to be here. Okay, I knew your name was familiar and I couldn't remember from where. So I've probably just seen you on pull requests and bug fixes and things in the Augur project. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I was a student developer, so I didn't have as much time for meetings. Yeah, awesome. Well, welcome. Um, I think it's it's unfair to ask them to introduce themselves and for us not to do it. So we have plenty of time. So I'm Don Foster. I am the director of data science for the Chaos Project. I um, I'm also on the the board of Chaos. I'm on the board of Open UK and I'm co-chair of the CNCF Contributor Strategy Technical Advisory Group. So I I do lots of lots of random things. Um, how about Brian? Do you want to go next? Introduce yourself. Sure, my name is Brian Prophet. Um, I am, what do I do? I work at Red Hat in the open source program office and the community outreach team, um, responsible for um, community messaging, also community health and uh, data analytics, as well as training and enablement for open source. And I'm also a member of the Chaos Board. Uh, Alyssa, why don't you go next? Hi, I'm Alyssa. Um, I'm part of the open source program office here at Bloomberg. Um, I'm based in New York City um, and have been a longtime fan and, and collaborator with the, with the KS project. And I'll pass uh, it over to, oh, sorry, go ahead. Paul. Nope, you pass it. Um, Emma, did you go? No, I can go. Um, thanks, Alyssa. Hi, I'm Emma. We're at Microsoft on the Open Source Programs Office. I've been there for three years. Um, before that, I was at Mozilla. I've been with Chaos as a fan and contributor for a long time. I love figuring out how to measure things and and talk about um, and talk about what those measurements tell us. So, uh, and this is just a fantastic community. So I'm just drawn to the people as well. So thanks for having me. How about Christine? Uh, Christine Abernathy, and I am with the F5 Open Source Program Office, and mostly here because I need to figure out how to measure things, which I'm not good at. <laughs> so I'll pass it over to Elizabeth. 
Hey, I'm Elizabeth, everybody. I'm the Chaos Community Manager. I've been with Chaos for about three years. I've been in open source a really long time. I live in Cincinnati, Ohio, go Bengals. And um, if you have any questions at all about Chaos or anything you can't find, you need help, don't hesitate. Do not hesitate to reach out to me I'm on Slack or I'll drop my email in here too, just in case. And I will pass it along to, who hasn't gone yet? To Matt, I don't think you've gone yet. I haven't. Hi, Isaac. Hi, Natalia. I'm Matt German Prey. Uh, I've worked with Sean Goggins for a long time. Uh, I'm a professor at the University of Nebraska Omaha and one of the founders of the CAST project and just really happy to be here. And it's, it's great to see everybody here as well. So, um, Sophia, if you're there. I am here. <laughs> All yeah. right. I think Sophia's uh, on her phone and she just, she just open source programs. Office. I've been on that team for three years, working with the chaos community for about a similar amount of time. Uh, I froze. No, yes, you're good. Over. Start over. Okay. <laughs> now you're back. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, Sophia Vargas, open source programs office at Google. I've been on the team for about three years and working with the chaos community for about three years. Um, in our team, I'm focused on all things, measurement and analytics, data and research. So it's been a, Really nice fit to have this community to work with. So thanks for having me. Um, I will pass it to, I'm trying to see who's still on the call. James, Isaac? James is the I think James is the one that has James? a lot. Okay. James, uh, I work with Emma at the Microsoft OSPO. Uh, got interested in chaos when I was working at the Amazon OSPO. Uh, and then just kind of like, coming to these meetings because I love seeing how the how it's growing, how the project's moving and, uh, you know, getting the opportunity to, you know, sometimes pipe up and have an opinion. So that's so why I'm here. Awesome. Thanks, everybody. And and welcome and congratulations on those those new jobs. Uh, Remy's amazing. So big, big fan girl. So I think he will. Uh, he'll be great to work with. So I yeah, that, that'll well done. I think that'll be good. Uh, okay, so next week, uh, we don't have a meeting. In two weeks, we have a meeting, uh, so November 2nd, um, public service announcement. The week of October 30th is Daylight Savings Time Confusion Week because the rest of the world, so I'm in London, we move off of Daylight Savings Time on October 29th, and the U.S. changes on November 5th. So that means that um, since chaos meetings are U.S. Central Time, um, for those of you in North America, you'll be fine. For those of us outside of North America and in other places, the meetings will shift for an hour. So just keep that in mind. Time zones are hard. Um, but with that said, is there anything that we want to talk about next week? Not next week, in two weeks. I'm really bad at that. I Just for me, I'd probably like to get back to that, um, that model that we have a little, little bit and start... Mm -hmm. Like kind of finalizing the questions and thinking about some of the metrics or metrics models that could be used that we have or don't have. Is um, that this one, drive. the visual updates? Yeah, different? I'll, yeah. well, yeah. So it's the the actual bottom one. If you click on the old, the old ugly one. Well, I tell you just what, on I'm, your... gonna put it, I'm just gonna put it on the agenda for oh, next week. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah that's so fine. For next week, oops, that didn't work. I will take care of that. Okay. There, it worked. Um, anyone, anyone else have anything they want to talk about in two weeks? Related to metrics models, and I would be interested in, and I mentioned this before, how um, comparing how an OSPO uses a certain metrics model between OSPOs. And specifically as an example, this week I was, using the popularity metrics model um, to look at some projects and it the experience I, um, I have some questions from the experience some things that were felt easy some things that felt hard and I would just love at some point it doesn't have to be next week but maybe just as a goal in future to have some sort of comparison conversation like that if it seems valuable to others so comparing how we're using some of the metrics models between OSPOs? 
Yeah, I mean, I, I think it would be helpful it, it to pick like one that that everyone feels, this is maybe more of an experiment, I don't know if this is like a meeting topic, but that everyone feels like, yeah, like I'd love to test this metrics model in my organization. And for, for me, the one that I worked on this week was popularity, um, but it doesn't have to be. Um, but I thought that was like a pretty straightforward one. But, you know, I ran into some questions, you know, from others. Um, I ran into some kind of blockers about how do I get this data? And I feel like that I, I hate to just kind of have do that and not be able to share it with other, first of all, with the group, like so that they can learn or maybe share how the like working on that model worked for them or, you know what I mean? Like having a conversation about something specific that we've all tried to do. Does, this could be like next year or something, but that's the sort of conversation I'm hoping to get to at some point across OSPOs. Okay. I think that's, uh, uh, yeah, I think that's really interesting. Sorry, Sophia, you went off mute, go. No, I just, I wanna say, I also think it's really interesting. So I think we, we've been talking a lot about how to demonstrate how these things can be applied in practice. And this would be an example of how it, it's applied in practice and also potentially expose some of the ambiguity or nuance and ways that people are using it. So I would love to see it as a conversation and maybe also later as a blog or podcast. Yeah, cool. Yeah, thanks, Emma. I think that's a really good idea. And I'm happy to help or like, I don't want to just hand off that as a job to anyone, but if that's something that you want to plan a future, I can maybe help help with it. Cool. Yeah, let me let me think a little bit more about that because we need to, yeah, we need to find a few people who can implement it and then have those people in the meeting to talk about it. So I think that will require a little bit of a little bit of coordination, but I think it would be a really interesting conversation. Anything else that we want to talk about in two weeks or in the future? Okay, cool. With that said, I won't just keep talking. We will. Uh, end the meeting a few minutes early, give you all some time back in your day to get, you know, actual real work done. Um, but thanks everybody. This is a, yeah, this is a really interesting meeting and, and welcome to the, the new folks. Bye everybody. All right. Thanks everybody.